K-State women's rowing kicked off fall racing season at the head of the Des Moines Regatta on October 26th. The Cats fielded four Varsity 8 boats, one Novice 8 boat, and six Varsity 4s. It was the Novice crew's first race, a moment they had been training for for over a year. It was unbelievable. I've never been so nervous in my life, but it was extremely exhilarating at the same time. Once we got in that boat and started the race, this was just a huge adrenaline rush and it was just it was a blast. It was really something that you, you don't experience in other sports. That year of work paid off for the Wildcats. They won their division by nearly four minutes and set a new course record. I told my girls, we crossed the line, and I'm like, I don't even know where they are. Let's try and dock and get off the dock before the other boat crosses. Let's do that. And we basically did. You know, we're lifting the boat up as Nebraska and the other boats were coming around to the finish. The Wildcat Varsity also earned medals by placing third in both the Collegiate 8 and 4 competitions. They believe it is a good starting point for the rest of the season. The, the way we performed to, um, this last weekend, if we perform that way in a couple weekends against KU, then we are just going to drown KU in our massive wall of water. The head of the Des Moines is different than most races the Wildcats will compete in this year. It's just under 5,000 meters on a winding river as opposed to 2,000 meters on a straight path. It's more of a strategy on when to start turning um, port or starboard and, and it's also fun yelling at other boats. The additional length of the race provided additional mental challenges for the cats to push through. Everybody was, you know, working their tail off and we had our coxswain who was really pushing us hard and you know and then getting towards the end of the race when you feel like you can't when you've got no energy left and you somehow find that kick to make it across. The next race for the cats will be at Tuttle Creek Lake on October 10th. The annual Sunflower Showdown will be the 2,000 meter sprint between the Wildcats and the KU Jayhawks. See you there because we are going to beat the crap out of KU. This has been Stephanie Carr with the K-State Collegian.